Hello everybody and welcome to my Chaos Playoff uh, Champs Ladder Season 10. First round got drawn against Orcs, Vela Um You know his team's really good, obviously he's got two plus strength Blitzers, he's got a plus strength Black Orc. He's got a decent amount of guard, not not actually, he could have had more guard for the TV, but he's, he's still got, you know, the guards are kind of hard to deal with aren't they? Um, Got a guard stand firm there. He's got full full claw, well, full tackle pommer, jump up, full tackle pommer there. Um, meanwhile, it was a brutal loss of the jump up claw pommer really in, in the running. That was the thing. I had a beast man with jump up claw pom, and he was a huge miss. Um, but still got a claw mighty blow on the claw pom, so there's still a, there's still a chance to uh, to do something. I've actually I had two beast men that skilled up in the last game, and I gave guard them both, so that I thought. At least if I have a guard advantage, I can try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Um, but let's see what happened. Nuffle had other ideas, basically. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, this isn't much of a spoiler because it, it goes to Ratchet pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, there's some people where they say they were Nuffled and there wasn't anything they could do. And it's a bit over the top. This is one of those times where they're really... I don't think there was much anybody could have done in my position um, apart from roll better dice but we'll we'll see maybe maybe spot something in the replay but um, I don't think so so he set up like this I went to blitz the uh, the troll because I thought 75% knockdown just better odds isn't it get try to get play, try to get players up most important thing um, obviously and take out the guard as well he had I set up for the three dice to take out the guard um, rather than just a 75% knockdown and then went to try and hit him. I did actually miss misposition the uh, the skillless uh, guy here actually on this turn I remember but never mind so get a quick snap which is kind of decent because it gets the push becomes a follow up block and stuff there actually put him away from where he was he was gonna assist with that. But then it gave more follow -up, more follow up block options. So here we are, first turn, double skull. Start as you mean to go on. It's one block, one double skull for those counting at home. Three dice so this wasn't really possible to be a double skull, was it? So that was good. Obviously gonna pile on that all day. And get nothing. So that was nice. So second two dice block. Now here I did misplay here to be honest because this guy was going to go around to there, but I just did put him in the wrong square. Three, four, five, six. I meant to put him there and just literally misclicked. And then that was a shame because it just uh, you know I'd rather had him further forward because then he would have got blitzed. I thought. Um, Obviously, get a push there from the third block because now it's and now it's this guard. You know, I, I'm not the guard would have been there anyway, but I, I would have thought if 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 it was the rookie in front, you might have blitzed the rookie. Hmm. But I think he's going to go for this guard, isn't he, with a blitz? I, I I guess I have mispositioned. I should have had the rookie here and then the guard over there. So that he would have been enticed to blitz the rookie rather than a guard guy. So a slight, yeah, I think that's a that's a definite misplay. I mean, th these are in the wrong order, but also I probably should have had. Uh, if they're in the other order, though, you would have. So these would have been in the right order if this had been the guarder. So I guess these two should have swapped positions, and then he would have blitzed a rookie. So definitely made a mistake there, I would say, on turn one. Um. He obviously tries to jam in here. So I've got a few options here. Like obviously could just claw pom blitz and try to do other stuff, but things I can hit his strength guy, um is Pommer. I thought that's worthwhile doing. Obviously only get a push, but still. At least it's not a turnover. There's the second double skull from five blocks. Uh two rerolls used in the first two turns. Very rough when you're playing somebody who's good, isn't it? So, uh, 
sixth block there, another push. And this is a bit risky making the GFI, but I think it's worth it to get a two dice block in. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas Griff. Got another push, so seven blocks. We've we've got, we've managed like a, a few knockdowns and two double skulls. As many double skulls as knockdowns here from seven blocks. And I mean, normally I wouldn't have dodged out maybe with that guy, but he did because he didn't actually have. Um, this guy didn't actually have mighty blow, so maybe I should have kept him in there. But then I wanted to kind of stop him crashing down this side. Thanks for the bits, Thomas Griff. But you see, the assist that I got into hit. So I got a two dice his guy with my E blow, but the assist, the guy that I got in for the assist, I paid for it with a Kaz. So that was disappointing, wasn't it? I'm getting to make blocks here. Right, so turn three. So there was a few things I could do here. I'll pause it after uh, after this block's made. Okay. So I went for that block because I thought. I could have just blocked him with a claw palm, right? But then if I pile on him, I'm very exposed. He's got three assists in there, easily to foul him. So I thought I'm very exposed to a foul. If I just block with him, I can blitz his strength four. His strength four jump up tackle palm is just devastating, isn't it? So I'm going for the value hit with claw palm. However, I could have just claw mighty blowed him, I guess, and then just claw mighty blowed him. But also... He's got, an, he's got a defensive assist here, right? So it's not even easy to get two dice on him. So by blocking forward, this got the two dice on him. Um, the other alternative, I guess, was to go, try to push down the sideline early, but I'm, I'm content to obviously try to trade blitzes with him at this point. I'd trade a claw pom blitz or a claw pom block and a claw mighty blow blitz for a, a pom hit. Um, but yeah, that, that was the thing. I just thought this was a bit of a risky follow to pile on. Though I could have, I, I did deny myself an extra claw mighty blow block here. But, you know, obviously if I, if I, uh, if I cas his killer, then it's all right, isn't it? It'd have been well worth it if I'd cast his killer. Of course, just get the push. Um, we're up to nine blocks total now, I think. Ten blocks, uh, more pushes. Moves him to there. I guess I should have actually put him in here to to defend uh, defend the claw palmer a bit. At this point, I've just got to run away, count the squares so that he can't reach me. I decide that things there's like a potential two dice block here to go, get in and make that two dice block. And thank you very much, Lost Mystery E in chat there. Thank you very much. I managed to get a knockdown because he hasn't got block. So you know maybe I should have just blocked with a claw claw palm and then blitz with a claw mighty blow. I did. I did put myself out of a block there, but it, it wasn't easy to get the uh, the assists in. That was the thing. And just value, isn't it? There's a lot of. Like, on the one hand, it's just good to be up men, and then they can't protect their good players. But there's also something that you said just for for targeting their best players. Like I did get the chance to hit his his absolute best player with with my claw palm, and if I cast him there, you know maybe the game goes a lot differently. The bad thing was I exposed my armor seven here. The newly any greeded re, he's getting to make a greed reroll on turn three. I mean that's the difference between the two of us. I've been forced to use two rerolls. Oh, the armor didn't matter in the end. It was an eleven on the armor. Um, you know I've been forced into rerolling two because of double skulls. I would have I would have maybe greed rerolled the hit on his pommer with my claw if I hadn't used any rerolls, but that was denied to me by the dice. Making dodges with black orcs and everything. I mean, obviously he had to do it. it stops him getting claw pommed. Um, another push. Is that eleven blocks now? Um, get this block in here. Double skull. <laughs> Third double skull from like from twelve blocks. <laughs> twelve blocks. Three double skulls. 
I'm like, for fuck's sake. So now I've actually got to make the ball save, which I should have done first. But I was hoping to, you know, move it up here or something. But after using the reroll, I thought, all right, let's just stay back. But maybe I should have gone forward there. But he could really swarm me, couldn't he? Especially with being out of rerolls. I just thought, let's hope that eventually Claw can do something. But the Claw's exposed here, isn't he? I was trying double GFI to foul his, his Pommer there. Was was very worth it, I thought. But obviously, roll a one on the GFI. Not really, not really surprising. Get a lucky troll failed there. But yeah, he's, he's getting in now, isn't he? With his uh, like, he hasn't even got a guard advantage, but because he's got the strength. Such a strength, guys. It's really good, isn't it? Again, so he's had to, he's had two vanity rerolls here. He's been able to vanity reroll twice. Um, doesn't pile. It's another mighty blow against a defenseless player. KO. So that's uh, down three players. So, you know, it's it's not going well. Um, <laughs> but now turn five. The, things can turn around now, right? I can just blitz this guy. Oh, there's the fourth double skull from 13 blocks. So, the first 13 blocks were just four double skulls. And now, obviously, at this point, I'm like, right, I'm done. <laughs> you know, I'm just done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, that means he just gets so many more blocks. Makes a cast. <laughs> I think he might stop getting lucky. I mean, that isn't even mighty blow. I app all that. Um, actually, you know, I knew it was going to be a tough matchup. When I won the toss, I thought I had a bit of a shot if I can just get some early removals. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't the one that got the early removals. <laughs> um, but, you know, Beastmen are armor 8, so this isn't crazy. Okay, it is crazy. He was look very lucky, but... This is the danger that Orcs always pose against Chaos. He's made four cards. I've rolled four double skulls and he's made four cards in the first four turns, which is essentially the story of the game. At this point from here, I don't think any play is really going to matter from either either coach. Um, I said as much in Shawnee's chat. He was, Shawnee was streaming it. Uh, very good streamer. He's a bad ass. But, you know... And like people are like, oh, don't give up and all this. And it's like, it's not about giving up, is it? It's just about being realistic, you know? Like, I'm not being defeatist or anything. It really is ridiculous. Two players standing up. Um, you know, it's <laughs> it's just a joke. No re-rolls. That was an, a great that was a great GFI fail for me, though. And yet, he, there was a, still a chance to score. Now, isn't this crazy? So, I saw it, obviously, straight away, which was a two-dice block here. One dice uh, block there. Oh god, I should have. Uh, I shouldn't do it with a turn in. So there you go. We get we get the. I mean, I could have just one dice block there maybe, to free it up, and then one dice blitz Tim or something. That would have probably been better, wouldn't it? But you know that. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. So I do a dodge, dodge, to 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 one dice. So I guess I did misplay that anyway. Oh no, I couldn't use them both to block, obviously, because one was the receiver. So no, I did it the right way. I did it the right way. Um, he dodges out, picks it up. It's a 4 plus pass, so there was, the two GFIs didn't change anything. It was the limit of a 4 plus pass. Makes the pass, makes the catch. So now he was in that square, so you can pause it here. He was here. So I had two choices, didn't I? I could go this way, where the only threat's the Black Orc. That's five squares, so he can go three, fourth, hit me. He could double GFI to hit me, but he, he couldn't get an assist, basically. I went for the two GFIs here, because I thought, then he can't assist me, and uh, I can just dodge away to score next turn. Um, if I'd gone the other side, which was, which was a possibility, um, he could have stood up. He could have stood up. Um, and to be honest, he might have struggled to do something then. Um... But, you know, essentially, it was still looking bad, wasn't it? I still think I would have probably been blitzed down. But I guess that was just a one-dicer. 
Whereas this, but then he, yeah, he could have moved the troll first and just made it one day. This is a horrible place. I can't stand here. I had to make at least a GFI there. Um, whereas here, maybe I could have just stood and hoped he'd fail something. But I just don't like the idea of hoping that he fails a one in nine when I can just roll a two plus. You know, I'd rather roll two pluses than hope he he fails a one in nine. So I think. I was 30% a chance to fail there, whereas if I'd, I'd rely on him failing a dodge, then that's 11%, isn't it? So, so you know, I think I think it was right to, to go this side and make the GFIs, attempt the GFIs. But I guess you could argue that I misplayed there or whatever. Um, you know, I think that was... But I definitely could have tried the other way and then, you know, maybe try to dodge out the Beastman and run around and make some kind of screen. But yeah, I don't know why I thought the GFI wouldn't be a one. And he gets back with the, the pommer there. So I've still, I've still got a chance here. I do, do crazy rolls here. Four plus three plus dodge to two dice is Palmer. Because again, I'm thinking I might be able to get back in the back. See, I haven't given up. I'm still thinking I might be able to get in the match. The Kaz there gets me into the match as much as a touchdown does, really. Um, almost. Because, you know, let's say these five guys who are Kaz. No, there's, not, there's only three guys Kaz at the moment. So he could come back. I could have ten men in the second half. And you know, if I cast this guy, it's it, like it wasn't the game wasn't over really, although I was saying it was over. It wasn't really. Then I dodged out a couple of GFIs that gets him in scoring range. So that that was a nice little backup to have. Being movement eight is obviously ridiculous. Um, did the dodge there because the the lineman couldn't affect the play really, even though it, get, it was giving up an extra block moving there. So like there's still a bit of a chance to score. You know, kind of. He rolls the pow. No armor break. And I can't believe he piles on here. <laughs> you know, because I've got my guy in, in range. I think that was a very bad pile. I think the only time you shouldn't pile is when it loses your game. That very well could have lost him the game. Making that pile on there. He's got no rerolls, so he could have double skulled this or whatever as well. But as it happens, he makes the pile, gets another Kaz. <laughs> you know, no mighty blow even needed. And it's uh, it's getting a little bit ridiculous at this point now. Now, now. now it's really starting to get insurmountable, isn't it? Taking five cows. Six cows. Um. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny because... And I had a chance to score there. Um, you know, I, I had, a, what, three plus, three plus... Three plus three plus with a uh, four plus with a reroll. Three plus two plus two plus two plus. So it was if I'd had a reroll or dodge, that score wouldn't have even been that crazy. Um, but obviously fail. Rolled a one on the first dice roll <laughs> and a one on the second. So if I made the claw pom block, I would have double skulled. As it is, I didn't make the claw pom block because I just went for the score. And of course, he gets blitzed on his turn and <laughs> gets cast again. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bella Hoppy is in chat saying, "Yeah, it wasn't really a game at all. It's true. I mean, it was a it was a hell of a day. He nearly scores here as well without re rolls. Makes the pick up, pass, catch, and then fails the handoff. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was funny that there was a crazy, uh, there was a crazy, uh, there was a crazy race between." Myself and Crimson Fox and Andy Davo to get the two chaos spots. We got myself and Crimson Fox got the chaos spots, and then <laughs> and then we both just got wrecked by orcs in the first round. <laughs> so yeah, obviously now, you know, I think there were things that maybe other people would have done differently in the first half, um, but the second half really isn't is nothing to see in the second half. Yeah, I mean. 
six players against this orc team is just, you know, unless those six players are like war dancers or gutter runners with a wizard and stuff, there's really no, nothing anyone's going to do from here, is there? Um, but, you know, for the sake of completeness, might as well see what happens for the set rest of the second half. Surprisingly, don't get banged on this half. Um, I think these pretty much all survive. Maybe just lose one of these six in the second half. It is tempting to go Orcs after this, but, you know, on another day, on another day, if I hadn't lost the jump up claw pommer, if I'd rolled well, if I'd, like, it, it was a lot more, like, you know, to be fair, um, to be fair, uh, you know, <laughs> although Veli Hoppy was, was apologising for the dice scene, this was my game plan against the Orcs, wasn't it? You know, like, this is this is the Chaos game plan, is to just wreck a team like this, they don't even have a chance, and it's not a game. And on another day, it could have gone like that. I mean, it was much more likely if I'd had the jump of Claw Palmer as well. I mean, that, that was the key thing. I think without that, it was much more likely to go this way for him than it was to go this way for me. But had I had the jump of Claw Palmer, then I think the odds would have favoured me in in being the one producing the dicing. Uh, certainly being able to Claw Palm with two a turn um, sometimes, and the Claw Mighty Blow as well. Um, but as it was... Um, as it was, I rolled I rolled four double skulls in twelve blocks, and he made four cas in about twelve blocks. <laughs> so after that start, <laughs> there's no there's no coming back. But I think the jump up guy would have changed the odds of the result, um, the odds of it being like this. But yes, obviously the way the dice fell on the day, um, I don't think there was really any any difference. Anything could have made. Yeah, the turn nine cars. Yeah, that's true. There was a turn nine cars straight away. So straight away down to five players. I did. I, I was going to base the ball, and then I thought, Do you know what? It's just giving up a mighty blow block. What's the, even the point of place basing the ball? So I guess what I should have done there was I should have just moved him here. I would have had an assist for the foul. Um, but then also I'd have got jumped up blocked. So that wouldn't have been great, would it? Yeah, yeah. It's just I think that if I'd had the jump up claw guy, I would have the, the odds would have been more favourable before the match. That that's all. Um, but it, that that would have been my my plan would have been to have done this to the orcs, wouldn't it? With, you know, just get some early cars, and then the uh, it steamroll. I like steamrolls. Not that isn't the word. Snowballs, doesn't it? You know, once once I don't have the rerolls, he 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 was able to greed the reroll on the wrestle guy getting a cars. I wasn't able to greed. The hit on his claw pommer, on his tackle pommer, sorry, his strength four pommer. So if if I hadn't rolled those double skulls and was able to greed that claw pom hit, maybe I cast him, and then that's like a two player swing, isn't it? So yeah, the dice pretty much decided it, I think. Um, I went for the minus two dice. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought about the minus two dice on the ball, but what's the point? You know, he's got dodge as well, so I'm, I'm not getting him down. And I did a. A pathetic semblance of looking like I'm trying to play Blood Bowl here, but a little bit of a screen. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> I was trying to move him down to here, but uh, I didn't get the inducements. I actually had the higher TV. It was uh, it was Vela Hoppy. I had a had a uh, had a babe. Had a babe <laughs> of all things. Of all things, I, I felt like I should have had a wizard in this game. The the teams were that much of a mismatch, I thought. Um, but no, I, I didn't have a I didn't have a wizard. I had a, he had a babe. So, but that's that's chaos, isn't it? You know, they're they're having to pay for blocking all their players, and the orcs aren't. So the orcs are just going to get a lot more guard and mighty blow than you. And really, the only thing you've got going for you is your speed, which ne nearly got the touchdown anyway. And the agility, um, you know, like the Warriors, his Black Orcs, although his Black Orcs did make a dodge, um, his Black Orcs don't get to move around and are slow, you know, unagile, what have you. So you do have some advantage over them, but when it comes to just fighting, they've got the advantages unless your claw kicks in. And I only had 
one claw mighty blow and one claw palm. So the odds were never really good for me, I don't think. Um, but you know, orcs, orcs can always do this. Dwarfs can do it as well against Chaos or High TV. You know, if pomming an armor eight isn't that much worse than claw pomming, is it? So there's always that. Everyone was down here. I just thought <laughs> I probably should have just left everybody down and let him foul me. But you know, I kept doing stupid dodges in for minus two D on the ball because why not? I probably should have just laid down or, or run away. Would have been the better play. I guess, actually. Um, although I did get a, a power with a claw palm. The claw palm got a power on turn one when it was a three dice block. And didn't break armor with a pylon. And after that, I did not get the... I did not get a knockdown with claw. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's a, that's the difference, isn't it? Ultimately, you know, it could have gone differently, especially if I'd had the if I had the jump up claw palm, if I'd had that, you know, and got three knockdowns on the LOS, three cas or what, three removals on the LOS. It can, it could it could have been a game, couldn't it? Even with two, it could have been a game. But uh, yeah, this wasn't really a game. So he's going to keep fouling my movement eight guy, isn't he? Uh, to stop the one turn. I'm dicking around with these. I shouldn't have stood these up, really. I really shouldn't have, because I'm just giving him claw palm hits. Uh, not claw palm hits, tackle palm hits. Not that I've got any dodge. Giving him palm hits. So I should, I should have just left everybody down, really. And then once he doesn't break, obviously I should just run away with this guy. Um, but instead... Knock down the pommer. Make a knock down there. Getting the good dice now that it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then I, I still went to threaten the ball a bit, did the GFI so he can push me into a tackle to a palm hit because I just thought maybe you know maybe I can I can do something you know like it, it was really no it was really stupid though I should have run away I should have run away there was there was really no point in doing this ah glorious Been Mia, Mia, Mia Khalifa for a couple of them. Thank you very much, VIP Beard and Narwhal. Uh, thanks for staying fantastic. Unfortunately, I did get the get rid of the uh, browser source there for with it being on YouTube. Um, but thank you very, very much for staying, staying fantastic. And then uh, I was again. I was going for the two minus two D on the ball. Didn't save my reroll for the one turn attempt. I mean, I, I was really stupid there. I should have just laid everyone down. But yeah, I guess he should have thought about skilling people up and stuff, doing passes and that, because I was really no threat. Well, it was a bit of a threat. I did have a movement eight guy. So maybe, you know, yeah, he should have probably tried to get a completion and a touchdown on him, because he didn't even have to score. He could have he could have taken it to overtime at nil-nil. So I, if I was him... I think I would have, uh, I would have got a completion and a touchdown on that troll, even if it meant forcing me to play another half of blood ball with no players. But yeah, I think he was just happy that he'd he'd completely fucked my asshole at this point. <laughs> <laughs> And then he ran away and left everyone else down because obviously he can't foul on turn... Well, he could have fouled on turn 16 and just not scored. Um, there was a chance to one turn here anyway. I'll, I'll walk you through it if you can't see how. <laughs> I had a chance. 
<laughs> seven. Seven Kaz. KO stays out. So that was a Kaz as well. He never recovered. Um, he actually set up to make it easy for me as well. Um, which is fair enough because obviously he wants to protect his players. I, if I was him, I would have subbed off two players um, in case of the rock. I'm not sure he did that. Oh, no. It's, it's, it was I was at my stadium, so the throw rock couldn't happen, so it doesn't matter. Um, but still, even a riot, I could have blitzed somebody. I was still would have subbed them off, actually. So he, here's the chance. There's a chance of the one turn here. Um, so this is the setup, right? What I need is a touchback and a quick snap. <laughs> and then with a quick snap, um, the Beastman goes here. And then these two move over to here. He can block him, push him to there. And then he blocks him, pushes him to there. And then he's got movement 8 and 2 GFI. So I could have scored the one turn. Um, I only needed a quick snap and a touchback. Unfortunately, it was brilliant coaching. But got the quick, got the touch back, so so nearly got the one turn, kind of. <laughs> so near, nearly had the had the chance, nearly had the chance of it. Um, but I thought, I I mean, I I didn't know, I did I just did this stupid three I play. I wasn't doing anything here. Um, I don't know if it was possible without the quick snap. I I imagine it wasn't wasn't possible without the quick snap, but maybe it could have been. Um, and then obviously the, I did the turn sixteen foul because I just thought, why not, you know. Why? Why even not? Um, there's nothing against Vela Hop here. You just got to do it, haven't you? I just ended it on a foul because it's blood ball, isn't it? It's what it's what the chaos players would do. Um, as you can see here, three armor breaks versus fifteen, and from those fifteen armor breaks, he made eight Kaz, um, and the KO never recovered. So it was essentially nine Kaz from fifteen ar armor breaks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> didn't even make that many more blocks despite being men up all the time and having the strength advantage um it was from 33 blocks it's just insane isn't it it's just crazy dice uh, it happens though doesn't it armor it that is the thing with chaos i'm never that confident of steamrollering um with chaos just because you are armor eight and the teams like um dwarves and orcs are actually much more skill efficient for their tv than chaos are due to chaos having to pick block you know and and block costing tv so it's always there's always a risk of something like that happening um but you know fair play fair play to vela hop here he did he, he <laughs> don't think he had to play very well but he he, he did enough didn't he and uh good luck in the next round and everything thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>